Tonight's lesson is lesson 12.1, Measurement Benchmarks. Our essential question is, how can you use benchmarks to understand the relative size of measurement units? So please take out your Go Math books and we'll be working in your Go Math books tonight while you watch your video. The definition of a benchmark is something that you use every day that is going to help you estimate the length or weight of something. So it's something that we use all the time. So remember when we did our fractions, we used half mark benchmarks to estimate where what would be equal to one half. So we're going to be talking about things that are going to be around us that we see all the time that are going to help us estimate the measurements for things. So if we look up here, we have our customary units of length. So this is what we're going to use to measure length. This is about one inch and it's about the tip of your finger. So if you stop, start at your fingertip all the way down to your first knuckle, that's about one inch. One foot is about the size or the length of a license plate. One yard is about the size of a baseball bat. So if you've ever looked at a baseball bat and you see how long it is, the length, that's about a yard. And one mile is if you ever walked for about 20 minutes and you didn't stop, that would be the length of about a mile. Now we're going to talk about customary units of weight. So about one ounce would be how much some colored pencils or some pencils would weigh. About one pound would be a whole loaf of bread. One ton is a lot. That's about the weight of a car or about the weight of an elephant. Now we have our customary units of liquid volume. So this is how you measure liquid. We have one cup, which is about eight fluid ounces. So that's about a glass of water. One pint would be a little bit bigger than the cartons of milk that you get at school, maybe about two of them put together. And then one quart is if you had two of these pints, and then that would equal one quart. One half gallon would just be that two of these half gallons would be able to fit in a whole gallon. And then a gallon would just be what you usually see at the store when you buy milk. That's a whole gallon. So now let's practice. I want you to turn in your Go Math books to page 221, and we're going to answer the first four questions in your Go Math book. So, what I'd like you to do is it says use benchmarks to choose the customary unit you would use to measure each. And so, for number one, it says height of a computer. So, which customary units? would we use to measure the height of a computer? And that's pretty close to how long, the length of a computer. So we wouldn't measure the weight with height and we wouldn't measure liquid of computer, of the computer, so we would use our customary units of length. And what we would use is we would use a foot to measure a, the height of a computer, to tell us how long the computer is or how tall it is. So for numbers 2, 3, and 4, I want you to think about which customary units of length, weight, or liquid you would use to measure each of the examples here. So pause the video, answer your questions, and we'll check over it in just a second. Okay, let's go over our answers. So to measure the weight of a table, we would most likely use pounds. So we should have pounds for number two. To measure the length of a semi-truck, you would use a yard. And to measure the amount of liquid a bathtub holds, we would use a gallon because a bathtub is really big. And notice that they said liquid in this one. So we would definitely use the units of liquid volume. So I hope you got those right and let's go on with some more practice. Now we're going to talk about the metric system. Now in other countries, they use the metric system. But here in America, we use 
the customary units of length, weight, and liquid volume. But in other countries, they use the metric units of length, they use metric units of mass, and metric units of liquid volume. But sometimes we use it here too. So it's very important to learn the metric units. So let's talk about one millimeter. One millimeter is very, very small. It's very, very tiny. It's if you look at your ruler and you find the centimeter side and you look in between a centimeter, between a one centimeter and the other centimeter, you'll see about 10 tiny millimeters, 10 lines in between there. And that's the size of a millimeter. It's very tiny. One centimeter is about the width of your fingertip. So if you look at your fingertip and you see how wide it is, that's about one centimeter. A decimeter is about the width of your hand. One meter, it's very similar to one yard, like the yard, and that's about the width of a door. And then one kilometer, you can walk one kilometer in about 10 minutes. So that tells me that one kilometer is about half of a mile, because remember we can walk a mile in about 20 minutes. Now we're going to talk about the metric units of mass. So one gram is about the mass of a dollar bill, which would seem very, very light. And one kilogram is the mass of a baseball bat. So if you've ever held a baseball bat in your hand, that's the mass of one kilogram. Now we have the metric units of liquid volume. So this is how we measure volume with the metric system. One millimeter, so if you have a medicine dropper, and a medicine dropper usually has about five or 10 millimeters inside of it. So if you were to maybe uh, push out one drop of liquid from the, from the medicine dropper, that would be about one milliliter. And then one liter, is a lot bigger than that and it's about the size of maybe like a Gatorade bottle like the bigger jugs not it's not so much bigger like a gallon smaller than that so it's about like a Gatorade bottle or like a jug of juice now we're gonna look at numbers 5 6 and 7 and 8 in your go math book on page 221 and I want you to answer the questions it says use benchmarks to choose the metric unit you would use to measure each so we're gonna look at each one of these examples and we're gonna see what would we use to measure this if we had to measure it in metric units so go ahead and answer these questions and pause the video while you do that press play when you're ready to go over the answers okay let's see what you guys answered for number five to measure the mass of a grasshopper in the metric unit we would use grams because the grasshopper is very light so we would use grams for number six the amount of liquid a water bottle holds we would use a liter to measure that. For number seven, the length of a soccer field, we would use, use a meter. And to measure the length of a pencil, we could either use centimeters or decimeters. So I would take either one of those. So I hope you guys answered those really well and let's do some more practice. Okay, let's answer these questions. It says circle the best estimate. So given what you've learned about customary units of length and the metric units of length and mass and liquid volume, so you're going to estimate which one would be a better choice. So you're going to circle the better choice for each one. Pause the video while you do that. Press play when you're ready to go over the answers. Okay, let's go over the answers. So for number nine, the mass of a chicken egg, you should have said that it would be about 50 grams. Now it couldn't be 50 kilograms because remember one kilogram is the mass of a baseball bat and that's really heavy. So it would be about 50 grams. For number 10, the length of a car. So we'd be, we would be using customary units of length for this. And we should have said that it was 12 feet. There's no way that a car can be 12 miles long. Because remember, one mile, it would take about 20 minutes to walk one mile. So we would use feet. 
And number 11, the amount of liquid a drinking glass holds, we would say eight ounces. Because remember, eight ounces is equal to one cup, which is about a, a glass of water. For numbers 12 and 13, you're going to either write more or less to complete the sentence. So go ahead and answer these questions. Pause the video while you're answering the questions. Okay, you should have said that a camera has a length of more than one centimeter. Now remember that one centimeter equals about the length of your, or about the width of your finger. So definitely a camera is a lot longer than that. It has, a, it has more length than one centimeter. And number 13, a bowling ball weighs more than one pound. Definitely, a bowling ball is heavier than one pound because remember, a pound equals about the same weight as a loaf of bread. So a, a bowling ball is definitely heavier than that. Okay, let's practice some more. Okay, here are the problem solving questions in your Go Math book. Number 14 says, what is the better estimate for the mass of a textbook? One gram or one kilogram? Number 15, what is the better estimate for the height of a desk? One meter or one kilometer? So go ahead and answer these questions in your Go Math book and pause the video while you're doing that. Press play when you're ready to go over the answers. Okay, the better estimate for the mass of a textbook would be one kilogram. Remember, a gram is very, very light. It's about the mass of a dollar bill. So a kilogram would be the better estimate for a textbook. And number 15, what is the better estimate for the height of a desk, a meter or a kilometer? I would say one meter. Remember, a kilometer is the distance if you were walking for 10 minutes. So a desk would be about one meter. Okay, here are your homework questions for tonight. This is on page 222 of your Go Math book. You're going to have to answer numbers 1 and 2. And remember, if you don't remember how to use your benchmarks for customary units or metric units, you can always rewind the video to, for you to go back and review. Also, I'd like you to answer questions 3 through 6 on page 222 as well. So this is all going to be review for you, so don't worry. I think you'll do just fine. When you get done with your homework, I'd like you to assess yourself, and I'd like you to put your level at the top corner, let's say the top right corner of your Go Math book. So you can just put a level one for novice, level two, apprentice, level three, practitioner, or level four for expert. Here are your homework questions tonight, and I hope that you are gonna do your very best on them, and I will see you tomorrow in class. Bye.